have our brother Doug Hoxton with us and he's been with us all weekend. I heard a little bit about him yesterday and today your preaching was amazing. It touched a lot of people. Thank you for being here with us, first of all, for, for being here with us. Um, I just wanted to get a little bit more background on you. I know you did share a little bit of your testimony, but sure. share with us how you got through this journey because this journey has been difficult and long. Share with yes. us a little bit, a little bit of that. I was filled with the Holy Ghost in 1984 and called to preach. So I was pastoring in a Trinitarian church, the Church of God of Prophecy in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And somebody came in my service and they questioned me on doctrinal up. Uh, I gave honor to the Trinity and I and I said you know you ain't you ain't one of them Jesus only folk are you and uh, and they said that they were oneness and uh, they didn't know their Bible very well always pays to know what you believe and um, and why you believe it and so uh, he didn't know his Bible very well so it didn't look good for him <laughs> and so I was very arrogant but I uh, busted his hide and I went back to the parsonage and was so proud of myself. And uh, But he did not give up. And uh, so even when you lose, you don't have to lose. Um, he started sending me books with no retrain or dress. And, and the Lord just began to deal with me, mm -hmm. open, oh, oh, open this up. And in 94, I received the revelation uh, of who Jesus really is. And uh, I was baptized first because I just saw it, right, that it was in the Word. But it would be a year later that I embarked on a study, which is what this book comes out of. I embarked on a year-long study on the name of God, the revelatory name of God. And this traces the name of God from the Old Testament to the New, some of which I wow. touched on this morning in, yeah, yeah. in, in our service. And so um, this has been uh, revolutionary to me. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love it and this message. And so the, I had to turn in my license to preach from the Church of God wow. in 94. Um, but God, He knows exactly where you're at. Um, God gave me a dream that I would be teaching in a metal building in an upstairs classroom and the power was falling. Fast forward 2019 when I was interviewing at Texas Bible College. In the middle of the interview, I said, is this a metal building? And they said, yes. I said, do we have classrooms upstairs? And they said, yes. And I knew I was exactly where I was supposed to be. Wow. It's so funny because in 94, when I was given this dream, um, the school was not located in Lufkin, but in Houston and not in a metal building. But God knew, he always on time, mm -hmm. and, he, and he knew that it would be moved to Lufkin. Wow. And so, I mean, it's been a wonderful journey. In 98, I was uh, booted out of, the, uh, uh, out of the organization that I loved. And uh, I pastored some independent churches, pastored a Baptist church, didn't stay Baptist very long, but um, it's still an apostolic church today in Georgia. I was endorsed um, by the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith, Bishop Lawson's church, endorsed me as a chaplain in 2007. I spent the last 12 years as a military chaplain. I um, did two combat tours. Wow. And um, I have PTG over it, and, and that's post-traumatic growth. Not, I like that one. Mo not post-traumatic. Stress, uh, stress disorder. Stress disorder. <laughs> and, um, and so I, I'm glad that uh, you can be better than the way you came. And we had a great time. It's a great, uh, uh, a great time. In 2018, um, I had a heart attack, so the Army said that was enough. And, uh, oh, wow. And so um, I'm retired, but not really retired. I'm pastoring in, in Lufkin. These are two of the books. I, this one um, yes. is on the significance of the right hand of God. I have another one. It's called Oneness Pentecostal Thematic Studies. Okay, okay. And, um, and I like this title because I think one of the questions that Trinitarians always say is like, oh, well, uh, God said, oh, it sits on my right hand. Sure, and, uh, absolutely. Right? I think that's a, uh, that's a big point that they say. Is, it, that it, it is that why you wrote that? That is exactly right. And I would say that 98% um, of the references I give are Trinitarians. Wow. Okay, so, so that's um, a good book to have. If yes, you want to have it in here, we'll put uh, on the link somewhere, we'll put it for you guys to purchase it. I think I haven't read it, but I, I'm going to take one and I'm going to read one. Good. You yeah. have another one there? And, and this one and this one is the revelatory name of God. This one is a bit heavy, but uh, you can do it. And uh, don't, don't. there's a glossary in the back. You don't have to fear. Don't have dictophobia, fear of dictionaries. Look at the dictionary. Okay, okay. And But you can do this. This is no, um, 
Uh, but but this is uh, uh, this is the message to wow. me Amen. that um, that changed my life. Yeah. And uh, and we've got two or three more coming. Okay. On the okay. on the uh, yeah. one on the baptism of Jesus and one on the uh, mm -hmm. uh, what are you going to do with Genesis one twenty six. But they're not out yet. Yes, I, they're I'm they're there. Busy. They're in the works. Yeah, they're in the works. They're almost a, done, in fact. But, almost done. Yeah. That's the last question I'm going to ask you. Uh, yesterday, I was with you, and I asked you this question, but I want everybody to hear your answer. I said, if you had to speak to, to, to a Trinitarian, because most of us, we either yeah. have family, we know somebody. True. What is the little seed that we could plant, a question that we could, without being too uh, abrupt or too, uh, I guess, forceful, what's something that we could say or plant to them that just get them thinking? It's a great question. Um, I, I would take them to John 4. I mean, that's where I would go, the woman at the well, um, and Mark 12, where Jesus puts his stamp of approval on the Hebrew understanding of God. Hmm. And they did not believe, and everyone knows this, and still today, they do not believe that God is a plurality of persons. And so Jesus says in John 4, he says, the Jews, we know what we worship. You don't know what you're worshiping. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. And that right there is a starting point. Um, why did Jesus place his imprimata mm -hmm. on the Jewish understanding of God? The oneness. Yeah. Hmm. Why? If God is three... Why did he say the Jews were right? Mm. And so, doctrine of the Trinity is not developed until 300 years after the death of the apostles. So that means that, it's very arrogant to me, that the true understanding of God would not come until after their death. That means the church fathers understood better who God was than the ones that sat at the feet of Jesus. I can't buy wow. that. Wow, yeah. I just yeah, can't buy it. It's true. Amen. I like it. Buy the books. The books are going to be somewhere in the link. It will uh, be on the publishing house. Um, however, right now, it'd probably even be best if they if they write the church, give the name and address. It'd be easier to go through me. Okay. All yep. right. All right. So we'll do that. We'll put that. Last thing. Thank you for your service, sir. Yep. Thank, thank you for you everything you've done. God bless and you. for everybody, Memorial Day uh, is, is this week. So yes. thank you for everybody that actually gave the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, indeed. That's exactly thank right. Thank you. God bless you, church. God Amen. bless you.